Good afternoon, folks. So uh, here we are today at Collins Brothers having a little open day. So um, I was coming with Anna, she's blown me out. I was coming with Jay, she's blown me out. And now I've got Matthew. So um, yeah, we're just gonna have a wander around and check out all the Deutz's new, um, new tractors and stuff, all their new kit and anything that they've got to, um, got to demo or show us and stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. Give us a like and subscribe and um, yeah, exciting little video for you. Cheers. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice little wander around folks um, before everybody else gets here. It's also that 215 horsepower, is that boost? Uh, no, they don't boost, they just, they don't boost. they're just straight. That's equivalent yeah. to a 215. Yeah, and then you got 250 here. They're smart looking tractors, I do like them. So I never see that pivot there when I had the tractor, Jason. That's a pivot for the front suspension. That's correct. Well, you see on this side, you'll see the inboard brakes. Yeah, I can get right in here. Oh, yeah. You lot see that? Got disc brakes on the front, which is um, something we don't have on the John Deere, obviously, but the faster you go, the more braking power you need. So it's good call. Cool. Oh, that's nice and clean under there. You can see that the other side of the tractor look. Gets clogged up with dirt and stuff in there, you can just blow it out. No, right. What have you got new here to show us then, Jason? We've got the Merlot franchise, which we've got back again. You wouldn't think you wouldn't think it would you, Jason, but this is the same size, if not more lift capacity than what my little John Deere. It is. Yes. And it's and it, it lifts higher. Mega little trucks, really. I mean, like you say, if it lifts the same as what my John Deere will lift. And, yeah. and we, we tried a uh, four-ton Merlot, and I just could not believe how much it would lift. Four two seven, the old. Yeah, and the advantage with these as well, they come. With, they can have an option of cab suspension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Fantastic for rough rides and roads. And riding. 50k now? No, it's only 40. Yeah, okay, that's, that's it. We're out of the rain now. GoPro is all soaking wet. I'm Daniel from Fenland Farming Adventures. So, how are you doing? You alright? And you are? I'm Charlie from right. Merlot UK. Okay, cool. So yep. I'm actually a network development manager for Merlot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we've got three popular models here. We've got the Panoramic P27 Six over there. Yep. Obviously, a compact machine, yep. small overall footprint, yep. uh, 2.7 ton and a six meter reach. Yep. Um, these are the latest generations of the machines, so all on tier five yep. engine emissions, yep. which is good. Um, but in the middle here, we've got 35.7, which is obviously very popular, more what we call yeah, farm, that, that farm be, spec machine. That's a perfect yard truck for us, yes. like moving stuff, straw and stuff, still move six hide bales, big Hestons and stuff, and it yeah, still can, pick up. Well, our John Deere still picks up a two-ton bucket, not quite full with wheat. Yeah. So no doubt that that would pick it up. Yeah. And then this is a perfect size for us for um, like mm. out much spreading and bale cars yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and like. this is this is uh, becoming more of a popular yeah. range, I yeah. think, with machinery. Yeah. This kind of seven meter, um, seven meter reach. But yeah, again, so as you can see, um, it's what we call the V agricultural model, three point five ton and seven meter reach. Mm. These are becoming more of the triple stage. Yes. Yeah. Put, well, well, like with everything, there, things, there you go. Yeah, you things evolve. So, stage up there. <laughs> three, yeah, so three point eight ton and, and ten meter on here. So, like you say, yeah. triple stage. But yeah, like, like with everything, technology evolves and capacities get bigger. Yeah. Smaller packages with bigger capacities. Yeah. Obviously, in a, with the Merlot machines, we have the ASCS system, so attachment recognition. Yeah. So, if you have a Merlot attachment on the front of the machine, the machine recognizes it and therefore it can adjust all the safe working parameters of the machine to make yeah. sure you're getting the, the maximum smart. out of that. Can I have a sitting one? Of course you can. With the tier 5 machine, so obviously these are all tier 5. Yeah. But one of the new additions as well we've got is um, uh, the capacitive joystick. Yeah. So where you would have a dead man switch on the joystick to operate, now it's just a capacitive so it senses your hand. Yeah. So then, you know, if you knock it with your elbow, it's, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, You've yeah, got to yeah, grip yeah. it. No. And it will automatically start working. So, yeah, the cabs, the cabs are generous. Um, on you know, with the hammers on the market, they have one of the biggest cabs. How how tall are you? Uh, six, one and a bit. There you go. You look, you look very comfortable in there. Yeah. He does. Got plenty of room behind yeah. as well. So there you go. Yeah, there is lots of room in the back here. Matthew's doing a sterling job of filming me while I'm being a, a model for Merlot. How vulnerable are these though? Yeah. As vulnerable as a man behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> a good answer. Why don't we talk about the other bits and pieces? We'll yeah, can do, yeah. No. Chat, we'll talk, tell you all there is about a dyer drive. You want to be on, on camera? Phil. I'm on camera. Yeah, welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. Very good. Phil, 
Well, Adana Drive sells very well in Europe still to this day. Yeah. It's been around a long, long time. They're a low, low horsepower. Low high horsepower, high speed, cultivator, ground driven. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I can get under there to have a look. I wonder if my camera will pick it up. I bet it probably won't. This one, because it's predominantly for me in the eastern side, I decided to spec it with a packer roller for the to soil yeah. type oh, yeah. old, yeah. old visit. Yeah. Whereas my colleagues export will sell them all on a cage roller. Yeah, like a, a, a crumbler. Bit, yeah, crumbler, a bit old school for this type of the market for yeah. me. So we chose the packer roller and we've been out on some vegetable land, we've been out on some stubble land and it's just this spring but with the main thoughts to get really going with it this autumn. What do you suppose this is like for incorporating cover crops in? This is where I think, if, if, if there's YouTube videos out there of these working in Europe just d doing exactly that. Yeah, um, mustards and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, if we want to, we can put a cedar to it and seed also. Yeah. It goes on, it shows the three metres to put on the trailer behind the truck yeah. so I can move around quite easily yeah. with it. Right, thank you Phil. You're welcome. Right. And we're here at the combine folk. Smart looking thing. Got my uh, film engineer on the case. Great big auger. Right, Tim Lawrence. We're here with Tim Lawrence. You're now a Fenlander. <laughs> and he's going to walk us through this um, brand new Deutz 6125C. Three models in the range. Um, there's the 6115. 6125, 6135. Horsepower is pretty much within the uh, category that you see on the bonnet. Yeah, yeah, the um, number on the bonnet. There's actually three uh, transmissions that we've uh, entered into with this product. So we've got the full power shift in the yep. middle. We've yep. got a power shift as these models are here, and then the TTV. Okay, yeah. So uh, we haven't had the full RV shift previously. Yep. Uh, and those are coming uh, through to the company. That, that's shortly. an automatic power shift, is it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah other than that, the other one is just a normal power shift. Correct, you have to yep. Move. yep. Yeah, so, so normal but, power shift, RV shift, and then the TTV. Yep. Yep. So effectively, you've got a mechanical transmission acting like a automatic. TTV. Yep. Automatic, yeah, 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 yeah. And within that, you can obviously change all the skip shifts, whether yep. you just want to drive it conventionally, manually, yep. or you want to have it all programmed. Yeah, yeah, fully auto and just... Fully auto. Yeah. Um, other that? ranges, front suspension, you have cab suspension on this model as well, 50k, you can even have it as a Warrior Black, like some of its bigger brothers. Yep. You have all the guidance, so a wide variety of product um, features yep. on a smaller horsepower base. Yeah. Could you have, uh, I know this is <laughs> John Deere guidance system on the on there, Can it, will it be compatible uh, we, with? We have our Topcon system, yeah. um, so it would go down that route. Yeah, okay, yeah, no worries, um, yeah. Hey, he's got the key, but lovely and roomy in here. So nice big cab for the horsepower capabilities. Yep. Uh, obviously forward reverse shuttle, and you can actually modulate the shuttle as well on yep. the little thumb, thumb wheel on the side. Yep. So, softer shift, harder shift, and absolutely. faster shift, yeah. Correct, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, obviously, this being the standard power shift model, you've yeah. got your high, medium, and low on your buttons there. Yeah. Um, and then a D clutch button on the front. Yeah, awesome, um, yeah. You to. yeah. This model comes with your four splitters hare, tortoise, snail, and then super creep. Super well. creep, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna call it Super Snail. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think Super Snail sounds better. Yeah, <laughs> and then obviously your other conventional functions taken from yep. the, the larger horsepower tractors that we have. So even lift and lower, where you're using it in field work, but also the other lever at the back, the switch at the back, yep. um, when you're hitching up to implements. Right. On the RV shift, so the next gearbox model up, that would be on an armrest yep. with a stubby um, lever. Yeah. And then the TTV would have the same um, multi-controller that we have on the, the bigger models. Yeah. I like it, isn't it. We have got another unit across the way with a loader on. That's yep. the new um, Stoll loader. Very similar product to this, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, but yeah. with a loader yeah. um, on that. So that's, uh, that's yeah. the first loader into the UK last week. So all yeah. that here to show something fresh and new at the yeah, College we, Brothers. We, uh, we, can, we can go and have a look at the loader then, can we? If you're all right with that. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a brand new loader, did you say? Yeah, brand new uh, this year to uh, Stoll. Check it for visibility and everything like that. And this, this is... So it's the same as you've just been in, yeah. but obviously on the load, unloaded joystick, yes it's mechanical, but your power shifts are on these buttons here. Okay. 
So on this product, you've got stop and go, which wasn't on the other one, but as an option. Yeah. So stop and go, basically touch your brake pedal. Yeah. And that will disengage your drive. Yeah. You've got your APS, so your power shifts will change automatically. Yeah. And then your loader control. Yeah. So, so you're shuttling backwards and forwards with your left hand. Yeah. Your right hands on your uh, joystick control. Yeah. And then your right foot on the brake. Yeah. And then on the next models up with your um, armrest control, you've actually got a little dumpy little electric joystick, yeah. which will have the same function. Yeah, so you haven't really got to reach over that one and get to Absolutely. this. Yeah. That's smart, I like that. I also like the, ra the radio. And in the Warrior, I'm not going to say there any, but the radio is right at the front on the Warrior. But being a DAB radio, you shouldn't be touching it. Oh, should I not? No. Okay, well, once, it's, once it's all set, it can then link with your phone. Yeah. And then once you set your station, <clears> it'll <throat> then do all its own thing. I'm, I'm 37 and I'm not used to all that. <laughs> I like to do, do <laughs> You should jab, be. Yeah, I know, jab my big fat farmer finger at a button and turn it over. Yeah, 12 years younger than me, so yeah. you're, you're the, the, yeah, you're the new I generation should, of farmer. I should be more up to scratch, really, with a DAB <laughs> digital radio. Well, we do factory fit loaders uh, up to 200 horsepower on the 7 Series. Yep. So uh, there's a wide, you know, the wide range of products that we do that are factory loader fit ready. Yep. Um, so literally from a dealer's point of view, uh, order the frame, order the um, loader, boom yeah. up, Yeah. drive it in the yard. And do, these, so. um, do these loaders come with boom suspension or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, boom suspension and then the quick attach or you can have the traditional depending on what you want to spend. How, how often is it going to come on, a, on and off the tractor? Yeah. If you're going to leave it on there all the time, you just yeah, have a normal. But everybody's different and yeah, you've got to yeah. cater for all, uh, yeah. all eventualities yeah, with the, the brands we've got. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tim. Not a problem. Thank yeah. you for your time. Yeah. This is what we were just saying about the big Deutzes with the fr uh, front brakes. What is the legal speed that they can travel at? Is it six? They're 60k tractors, aren't they? But the law is the law. Yeah. So it's still that, 25 miles an hour. Yeah. I didn't know if the law changed because you've got four wheel braking or because you've got no, disc no, brakes still, on the front. No, it's still, it's still an agricultural vehicle. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Are they all 50k, all three gearboxes? All different gearboxes? Or no, is it, or is no, it... no, it's very much optional depending on your other options. So cab suspension, front suspension. Okay, yeah. Sort of yeah. Well. So, okay, so. Uh, all three gearboxes could be 50k. The the no the RV shift and the TTV yeah. you can't on the power shift. Okay. The power shift would just be 40k. 40k, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. No, no problem. And uh, most Pleasure. appreciated. Either way, you need to do a piece on getting somebody from tar manufacturers. Talk about tires. Okay. That's really, really important. Okay. Yeah. I tre Trelly Borg are no more though, are they? No, Stop apparently not. Stop filming. <laughs> you love it, Jason. Yeah, You'll really be like, like an internet sensation now. <clears throat> First time with your clothes on. Look at that. Let's hear one thing. Only issues. I mean, I don't. I've never run Trelly Wars. We always go Michelin's or BKT. Yeah, which are fine, but they're also from the same factory anyway. Yeah. That's a continental mold. That is. Jason, would BKTs just do like the Agrimax? Is there any other variants of these? I, I can tell you. I, I just don't know. That's why I've never seen the Agrimax here. Yeah. The only thing I find with the BKT is this lug here. Yeah. The dirt seems to really, or well, my sort of, really stick to that. I'll tell you what somebody did say and rave about the other day. Now, I don't know how true this is. The Verdestein tyre, they were raving about them. They got like a, an extra little lug in this bit here. We all, we've all got our own experiences, yeah. haven't we? Uh, sit down. Right, crikey. You could have put a door on it for me, Jason. I know, well this, you can have full cabin heater for the show price of 17 grand for one of those. Oh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I swear I'm getting too fat to, for farm machinery these days. Got this um, hideous model, model in don't it. Don't give him camera. Don't, don't, yeah, don't give him camera. Uh, was it Coyote? Jason, how do you pronounce that? Coyote. Co yeah, it's Coyote, yeah. Coyote. Okay. Can you do me a favour? Can you go beep beep? Beep beep. Beep beep. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. we're Fenland Farming Adventures, so we're um, okay. all interested in just doing little talks with everyone. Yeah. We, we don't never use none of these I drone hitches right. and yeah. stuff, so. Yes, yeah, so we've got the K80 yeah. uh, bonus boom. Yeah. You can see on a traditional yeah. uh, tall hook and ring yeah. how much place. So this, this is a, a bit of a warning example, but, so, yeah. but this shows you how much movement yeah. you've got on a hitch. Yeah. So if you've got a large trailer or a bailer, yeah, that's or, right. or especially a sprayer with a liquid surging backwards and forwards, yeah. you're going to get all this bashing about in the back of the tractor. Yeah. So if you not, replace... Not, not good. No, no. So if you, you extend your, your, your tow hitch out, 
slide, take your hook out. Yeah. This can just slide straight in. Uh, it's direct replacement, no modifications needed, just yep. in the same space. Yeah. Um, when you've got a spoon on your trailer, you can see how it's a really solid connection. Yeah. Just like on a tow ball on the back of your car. Yeah. So it changes it from having a, a tract and a large implement rattling about on the back. So it's a much safer connection, you've got more, more surface area uh, actually hold, holding it on. And there's no there's no wear. Compared to something like this, yeah. it's wear, it's bashing around, it's wearing all the time. Yeah. Where something like this you reduce 90% of the wear. Yeah. As long as you keep it greased and clean. Um it's there's no there's no do, impact. Do, do do they wear out? They will they wear out or not? As long as you like you say, have you, keep you, it. have you ever worn a tow ball out on a car? No, not or really, no. No, no, it's true. Same principle. Yeah. No, yeah. it's a good, good because, point. Because it's because it's touch, because it's grease. So you get it's going to keep keeping it right, keeping it clean, keeping yeah. it free of grit, keeping it lubricated, and it's just such a smooth, yeah, such a smooth movement. It eliminates the wear, the bang, the surging, the rock and roll of your trailer. So yeah, I mean, uh, a weld on spoon is about two hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah. Uh, the bolt on ones more like five hundred and fifty pounds. Right. And then the. The spoons themselves are like 700 pounds. Oh, so you can retrofit that to another existing trailer? Yeah. No trouble at all? No. Thank you very much, Roy. No problem. Let's have a look in this. That's right, sure. Yeah, so this is a 160 litre toolbox plastic. Yeah. It's a big old, big old void there. Yeah. You give it a fence of material in there. Yeah. Roll on it or some posts. Yeah. What is this, what's this actually made of? So this is concrete and magnetite composite. Right. So you'll see, we've got that one's 1250 oh. kilos. Yeah. We do this toolbox in 1050 kilo up to 1750 kilos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all the same size. Yeah. So they just uh, alter the density of the amount of magnetite compared to, to the, uh, the concrete. Change yeah. the density. So yeah. you change the weight without changing the size. Yeah, like that. So one of the main things we're doing is crossbar. Yep. Uh, further down. Yep. So this is the crossbar a lot lower. Oh, better visibility out of the cab. Yep. Increase the strength in the loader booms, so yep. it's made of thicker, thicker box actually. It's like quite, quite chunky, quite chunky up there. Now. I, I take it having that further up would it decrease the risk of it twisting and stuff? Would it? Or would it? Yeah. Now, now you've moved it down there, beef yeah. this up a bit. Yeah, the beef, the beef this up yeah. to compensate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. You, get better, you get the better visibility. That makes sense. Yeah. Perfect sense. So I mean, one of the big key points of these loaders is the self-leveling mechanism. Yep. From the traditional loader, your self-leveling bar will be along the top. Yep. Whereas on, on these loaders, it's thinking here. Yeah. Okay. So they call it the Z-linkage. Yep. So you've got your hydraulic line comes up here. Yep. A banana shape of everything in there. And then it goes back along there. But that's very okay. So the reason by, by doing this, when you've got a load on your forks and your bucket, pulling down here, yeah. pivoting that around, and then the, the weight of the load is pushing back. So Onto the... This point, yeah. which is below the pivot point of the loader. So the weight on the front is actually assisting the lift. Below the pivot point. Okay. Makes sense. So it's, uh, it gives you a stronger lift. It uh, negates that thing where the... The further out the weight is along the, along the forks, it normally increases the effect it has on the loader. Yeah. But all that's doing is giving you more lift so it balances itself out. Yeah. So, so the that capacity at the heel is the same as the capacity at the toe. Re rearranging that then, it, it's kind of like having a three point linkage, you know, pushing the weight back. Gives you a mechanical the... advantage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah cool, isn't it? I, I do like it. It's a smart looking tractor. Thanks, Roy. I'll shake your hand again. It's been um, a <laughs> good little um, interesting yeah. tutorial. What do you like, the black or the green, Matthew? Black. I think the green's a... I mean, it's only a Lamborghini, isn't it? It's a Sammy at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah. It's a Jeremy Clarkson. It's Power. a Sammy. Yeah. Power! It's too bloody big! It's too bloody big! 710, 70, 42s. They are humongous. Oh, I like them. Do you? I yeah, like... I just grabbed... I got a spare... Got a big old... Yeah, little, some, a some tiny pod. little adjustable that opens real wide. Yeah, but you get in here... Yeah, giggity. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, straight through the puddle, Matthew. Uh, Good call. These are these are good trailers. I like the Western trailer. Keep your eyes peeled on YouTube. You'll be on there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> these are nice. This is what I was on about. Box, proper box like this. I mean, it's humongous, isn't it? It's huge. <clears throat> look at that. Look, all the storage. People love these boxes. I mean, because there's a big old weight in the weight in the middle. There, you can take it straight out, can't you? Just a Deutsch Deutsch Fire combine that nobody 
we never see any round our way, do we? They're all Deers, Classes and New Holland, so. The old tank on it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why it's on this side. Look, mine, mine has got rotors in here. Instead of these, it's got twin rotors that screw around like this. These have got walkers that walk. The, these take it in turns that walk in the straw back. So start off there and comes in and walks it, pushes it back by walking it along. Hence the reason why it's called a straw walker. Yeah, smart, I like it. 800s. They don't look that big, do they? Not that old. You're 800s, 900s. 900s. Ours is a whopper. Ours is twice the size tyre, that is. Um, and I wonder what this, what is this bit on the bottom here? Is that all your slide out oh, header? It's all your slide in vario header that pushes forward. I like sitting on the Land Rover, really. <laughs> Huh? Suit you, sir. I thought these pillars feel really cozy. Yeah. It's like a womb. It's a cocoon. <laughs> a cocoon around you. It's a cocoon. <laughs> Yeah, Jason's just giving Matthew a tutorial run over the Deutz that I had. Well, so, so similar to the one I had, but this one's got bigger boots on it and everything. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. Met George Saunders today, so um, seems like a nice bloke. Happy to meet all these YouTubers and stuff and say hello and explain who we are and try and get them to know who I am. As if they didn't already know that I'm the best potato farmer in England. Not been in the weather today for um, being outside with the camera, but we managed it and we've done a good video for Jason. So thanks Jason for inviting us over to the Collins Brothers yard for a little mooch around. And uh, I'm gonna sign out here now. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and uh, subscribe, should I say. Cheers guys.